another blow for ICC prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda as an additional four prosecution witnesses are reported to have withdrawn from the case against Deputy President William Ruto and radio presenter Joshua Sang. Now this comes just two days before Ben Souda's first witness testifies against the duo. KTN's Asham Wilu now takes an in-depth look at this latest development in the case against Ruto and Sang. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The trial proceedings against Deputy President William Ruto will resume Tuesday at the International Criminal Court. The first of some 40 witnesses lined up by the prosecutor will take the stand. But according to fresh reports, the prosecution may have suffered yet another blow just two days before the proceedings. Four witnesses have reportedly pulled out of the ICC process, claiming to have withdrawn officially via emails to the office of the prosecutor. Reports that the ICC coordinator in the country would not confirm. The court's position uh, has not changed in terms of keeping very private the information that has to do with uh, witnesses or, or, or otherwise. Members of the public should not be conclusive that it's the end of the case or, or the case is falling apart. Maria Kamara's statement echoes those of the chief prosecutor during the opening statements in the case against Ruto and Sang. The Office of the Prosecution has repeatedly raised the alarm over alleged witness intimidation and bribery, a crime that attracts a jail term of up to five years and an undisclosed fine. In tandem, the court has tightened its witness protection strategies. These protective measures may range from closed sessions during the hearings, in order to keep confidential the identity of the person to, as an extreme measure, a relocation of the witness to another country. It is also possible that uh, their voices might be distorted, their faces too, uh, sometimes for children, minors who are given testimony, or even women, in order not to further re-traumatize them as a result of the account, the narrating to the judges, they can testify, they call it via remote control, in a different room, in order not to be able to sit face to face, to have the direct eye contact with the accused persons. These protection mechanisms, however, are not blanket and will not apply to all witnesses who appear before the court. The special court for Sierra Leone allowed the public to know the identity of some of the witnesses in the case against Charles Taylor. In the ongoing case against Central African Republic's Jean-Pierre Bemba, the identities of most of the witnesses have not been revealed. The court, however, also plays a balancing act to ensure the accused is granted a fair trial. Um, they are in the courtroom, I said. They are away from the public view, but within the courtroom, however, the lawyers for the accused persons will see them. The accused persons themselves, who are present in the courtroom, will see them. With the Ruto Sang trial only two days away, a reserved William Ruto spent the day in church before his flight scheduled for Monday. And as I go to the Hague tomorrow, the Bible is telling me, tomorrow, in verse 16, tomorrow, march down against them. So far, about 33 witnesses are reported to have withdrawn from the Ruto and Sang trial. The latest are said to be survivors of the Kiamba fire and are said to have pulled out due to the prevailing peace in the country. As the ICC witness saga deepens, Kenyans will have to wait until Tuesday to know which card the prosecution will play as her first witness takes the stand. Asham Wilu, KTN Weekend Prime.